The offer app is pretty much where everything happens in this process that I'm creating for you. You'll have the record come into here. You, it'll auto create the the offer letter um, entry, and then you'll be able to send out the letter to an email address or through actual mail using the post office by using another service called Lob, which I'll get into in another video. But this video is strictly to set up the Offers app to prepare for using Globiflow and Zapier and Lob to do all the processing through this flow. So let's create the Offers app. So I'm, I'm in my workspace. We'll add the app, create own app, Offers, item name will be Offer. Let's see if we find the useful useful icon we'll use that one the table I'm not going to put a description in here because it's pretty self-explanatory create app now I'll set up the app template first thing here is create the amount now the order of the fields doesn't matter except for the first one. The first field is what shows up in all relationship fields that you have set up to access this offer. And I like to see the offer amount in my Pursue app along the bottom where it shows which offers are related to the Pursue lead. So offer amount. It just makes it meaningful and a quick look to see what kind of offers I've made next field will be a relationship to the pursue app save that give it a name pursue relationship next will be the date this will be the offer date I in, in the offer setting or the date settings I want to make it required hide the time entry because we don't need the time entry the offer time usually the date just to show the end date we don't have an end date so we hide the end date and close the date field is a little more powerful than what we need it for we just need to show the the date that we're sending out the offer so the next field is the status field, which is a category field. Status. This is like every other status field in the other apps. It drives what we're doing with this lead. So we'll call it an outstanding offer. If I can spell it right. Outstanding offer. Any offer that is put out there and you're waiting for a response. A rejected offer an accepted offer and an offer that's been countered. The next field is a category field which I use to mark off how I want to send the offer. So send offer by it's not sent which is still staying here and hasn't been sent out yet. Send it by email or send it by mail. And in this case, I'm going to give it a little extra tag for lob. So I'm going to send it by mail using the lob service, which means it's just a pretty cool service. You just send off, click a button, click this, and then use Zapier to send it to this lob service. And it will do all the mailing for you. You'll print the PDF file, stuff it, send it out. You're all good. You just click the button. That's all you did, and no time wasted. Next field is the recipient name. This is a text field. You need this to be included into your your request into your. Uh, you need the recipient information, name, address, city, for when you're 
sending the information to lob in order for it to know where to send the, the mail to. So I'll have the next field, we'll actually make this one a single line field. We'll use this recipient address, also a single line field. Pull in some more text fields, city. Get one there, I'll grab another one because I know I need a state and a zip. Recipient state, recipient zip. All single line. And that's the fields that we'll need for this process and sending out. Again, like any other app, these are the minimum fields that I use. I have added a few more that are more specific to my business and what kind of letters or offers I'm sending out. It's up to you to add those fields to yourself. But if you, uh, when you're all done, you hit done. And just to show you what it looks like afterwards, hit add offer. We have the offer amount, pursue relationship. So you'll select the pursue lead that this is related to this offer. Status, select one of these. Send offer by, and so forth. Now, you actually won't be really messing with this information. It'll be auto-created for you by Globiflow. And I'll show you this in one of the next videos you'll see. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please email me at scott at strugglinginvestor.com. Thank you.